Hi! In this episode of Tweaks with Tweak, we're going to make a huge flower. Why? Because it's spring and flowers are coming up, even giant-sized ones. I'll show you how to make it. Join us! Hi, this is Tweak. Today I'm going to make a coneflower. Why? Because it's spring and I wanted something special to hang on my door. And instead of buying something, I can make something. And it all started with a new pan that we got for our kitchen. In that pan, in the packaging which I'm always looking at, came this cardboard piece that was between the pan for shipping. And I immediately thought, flower, sunflower, cone flower. And I like the flowers, but I wanted to add a little something special. So I thought if I took a piece of styrofoam and put it in the center, I could decorate. It would really look like a sunflower or a cone flower. So let's talk about product supplies. The supplies you'll need for this project are some cardboard, you will need paint, some brushes, scissors, you will need styrofoam, either a half circle or a flat piece that you can cut into a circle, and some varnish, you'll need a hot glue gun to hook everything together, and some 100% cotton fabric, because I cut that into strips and I'll show you how I used it to make the center of the coneflower. So I have my cardboard and the size that I'm going to work with, and I found a piece of styrofoam and this is what I did. I took little bits of fabric and attached them into the styrofoam. You get this 3D effect that's really lovely and let me show you how I did that. Now I was making a cone flower, so I chose a fabric that was bright, that reminded me of the center of a cone flower. Black, and then I have a, an orange fabric here, 100% cotton, and I'm just gonna take the scrap and I'm gonna cut it into one inch squares and I cut out as many squares as I had fabric. So once you get your little squares cut out and you need either a nail file or one of the tools that comes with styrofoam carving and you take the styrofoam and take the tool and you take one little square and you just push it gently into the styrofoam. And very quickly you'll see you're working on a pattern and I'm just going in a circle because I'm thinking of what a cone flower looks like. But you take your little pokey tool and you just push it into the styrofoam. So I'm just going to keep going until I get as much fabric in the circle as I'd like, the color black. And then I'm going to augment it with the other orange and gold fabric that I picked out. And I'm just pushing in. I'm looking for places I may have missed. I want it to be all this lovely orange. Oh, there's a place. Orangey color. And as I put the squares in too, I'm leaving the dark side of the fabric out. And there I have my center. Ah, I just love when stuff turns out like that. And I have extra fabric too. Done with my tool. Next step is to set this inside my cardboard, but I would like to paint the cardboard first. So center cone, you're going to wait while we paint. So here we go. I'm going to come up with a paint color. And I pulled out colors I thought that augmented this fabric here. So I definitely am going to mix them. And I'm going to mix some more maroon color. Ooh, wow, what's this going to turn out like? We will find out. I'm going to use the lighter yellows as a highlight. I think I might put some of this darker orange in here. Okay, what's this gonna be? <laughs> we will find out. Paint time. Get the brush. So I don't have to paint all the way through to the center because that's gonna be covered up by the cone. So I'm gonna go ahead and paint this. Go all the way around and then we'll work on the next step. Got that outer rim painted, and I want to set this in here to see how it's going to look. Oh my goodness. Okay, and I see there's a few more places I have to add some more paint. So I'm going to quick do that before I change the paint color. So I'm going to bring the color a little bit in so I don't see any of that cardboard. I'm going to, since I'm going to glue that on anyway, I just want to lay it down quick and see. Oh wow, there we go. Okay, I'm really liking this flower. You're gonna be so pretty. All right, 
inside layer done. Now I'm going to add another layer. Okay, put you aside for a minute. Look, it didn't get any paint on you. And you're going to try right there. Yes, you are. Okay, now I'm going to pull out. I've got a bigger circle here. I'm going to angle it a little bit differently. I want a little bit different color. And right now I'm going to go for a little bit darker color. And then I'm going to fan out into the lighter colors. Interesting cornflower. All right, so here we go. I would like to take the same color, add more to it, and lighten it up a little bit. So that means I'm going to throw in a little more orange and yellow. And a little bit of this. I don't know why. I just am going to throw some in there and see what we end up with. Wow, it turned into like a rusty orange. Okay, I'm liking that. Let's run with it. Now, since my cardboard is the stuff I cut out myself, it's stiffer, so it should be to paint easier. Got this painted, and I'm gonna set it aside to dry. I found some white cardboard, which is really nice. I'm gonna start cutting out some petals. Now here's one the same size, it's not painted. If I can get an idea of the size of petals I want to go around the center here. And these are all about the same size I cut. And I'm going to angle them off so they look like petals. I'll take some cutting and here we go. And now what I'm going to do is paint these. These are the petals that are going to go around the coneflower. So what color do I want? I want to go with a yellowy orange. So I'm going to take this orange color that I've got here, and I'm just going to go with it here. I'm going to add a bunch of yellow, and we'll see what happens. Okay. I'm going to paint one side. Oh, look at see how the cardboard has, a, has lines in it. So I would rather paint the side that has the lines because those will come out more once the paint and the varnish is on them. So that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> this is the fun part. Last one. Wow, just enough paint. Perfect. Dry. This was the first inner circle. So first I'm going to do is attach these two together with some hot glue. Are you ready, glue gun? All right, so I'm just going to lay some glue down. All right. And I'm going to measure a little bit. Get them lined up. You have a little bit of wiggle room for it sets. And press. Then I'm going to set the cone inside. So that's set up. Here we go. Stay towards the inner part. All right, once I put this down, it's a cone flower forever. Here we go. Got an eyeball in it. Oh, this thing feels so cool. The way the fabric just goes into the styrofoam makes this poofy 3D feeling. It's really neat. Okay, pressing. All right, I'm going to secure this cornflower with a bowl. Ta-da! Turn it upside down in the bowl. I'm going to help myself set the petals in evenly by using this bowl and drawing a circle. Now I can lay in, yeah, pretty good job there. i lay in the petals. these as a guide here to keep me straight. Here we go. We're going for it. We're going in. Petal. I'm letting the two edges meet up with the circle. I can't wait to flip this over and look at it. And now because I'm stopping, I'm going to take another one of these pieces, round pieces. I'm going to set it in the center 
to hold everything in place and that's where I'll attach my hook to hang it. What's it gonna look like? Let's see. Uh. Oh! You know what, That that's nice, but it, as I suspected, needs more petals. Good thing I made some more, let's add them. I cut out a bunch of petals when I came up with this design. And these are just another color, complimentary. And I'm just gonna add them in between each of these petals as I go. I want them to be a little bit down from the outside of those petals. Glue gun, you're being employed again. Okay, we're gonna go around the flower. Oh, it's gonna have a nice sturdy back on it. Reveal time. Let's see what we've got here. Pull you up. Trying to figure out a way of doing it nicely. Okay. Oh. Well, let's see. Wow. Okay. That's a nice color. I want a little more dimension. Hmm. I have an idea. I want these to flap up a little bit. A little more of a dimension 3D effect. So what I'm going to do is take leftover scraps from when I cut out these petals. And I'm going to cut out just like a little L-shaped piece. And I'm gonna fit it in just to give the petals a little bit of a pop. Let me see how this works. A little bit of glue, a little bit of cardboard, a little bit of a squeeze. Yep, see, it don't need to be Uniform. Let's, let's see. Let's go. Let's go every other. I'm taking that little piece again, adding some glue, putting this little L-shaped piece in there, and pushing down a little bit of. Oh wow! Look at the little bit of dimension just with those little petal bobbers. All right. Next, I think I'm done futzing with this part. Let's varnish the whole thing, not the top. Machine done. Look, hold it up so you can see it. Wow! wow. <laughs> Improvement. Uh, one more thing to do here is add a hanger. So I'm gonna bring over the trusty bowl. There. And I want to add, find an opportune space. Wow, oh, that looks like a good space right in there. And I'm gonna Make a pipe cleaner hanger and tack it right in there. Good, that's gonna work out very well. So I've got some black pipe cleaner here. I liked it because it's fuzzy, like the uh, the front, the cone part. So I'm gonna twist two of these together because this is a pretty long, big flower. So, okay. Gonna hang on our front door. Yes, it is. So I'm going to get that going, right? pipe cleaners and now I'm going to affix it, tuck it in there really well. Okay, that's a good spot. And I'll tuck it in there and I'll see if we'll have enough space to hang it. Yeah. Let it hang or hide behind this petal here. And I want to adjust it a little more but I'll do that when I get it to the door. Flip it up again. Okay, we're done with you, bowl. It's very helpful. And there's the hanger, the stain. <laughs> oh, one more thing. I want to add a bumblebee. Now I had some wooden bumblebees that I painted, and I think. One would be just perfect somewhere on this blossom. 
trying to decide. Right about in there. So I am just going to glue him. So there's a bee coming in here. That'll hold him up a little bit. I think I'm done. I added a bee. And there you have it. Isn't that beautiful? It's huge, but I've got a door big enough to hang it. So if you like what you've seen here today, give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell so you know when the next episode of Tweaks with Tweak is going to come. Until then, brighten up your decor. Just take some styrofoam, some paint, a little bit of patience, and a lot of cardboard, and you'll have it. See you again.